Let's practice. A motorcyclist heading east through the small Lucina city. It accelerates after he passes the signpost marking the city limits. His acceleration is constant and found to be 4 meters per second squared. At time, t is equal to 0, he is 5 meters east of the signpost, moving east at 15 meters per second. Find his position and velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds. Where is the motorcyclist when his velocity is 25 meters per second? Solution Identify and analyze the problem and, if possible, make a visible representation of the problem. Upon reading the problem, it tells us that the acceleration is constant, so we can use the constant acceleration equations. These are the available information. The acceleration of the motorcycle is constant. This is 4 meters per second squared. The initial position of the motorcyclist away from the signpost is 5 meters. The initial velocity, v sub i, is equal to 15 meters per second. We also have the values of time, t equals 0, and t equals 2 seconds. We also have the value for a final velocity, v sub f, equal to 25 meters per second. Our setup. We take the signpost as the origin. The positive x-axis is towards east. At the initial time, t is equal to 0, the initial position is x sub 1, is equal to 5 meters, and the initial velocity is, v sub i, is equal to 15 meters per second. The constant acceleration is, a, sub x, is equal to 4 meters per second squared. Let's solve for a. We can find the position at time t, is equal to 2 seconds by using this equation x sub 2 is equal to x sub 1 plus v sub i times t plus 1 half times a sub x times t squared which gives position x as a function of time t x sub 2 is equal to x sub 1 plus v sub i times t plus 1 half times a sub x times t squared substitute the given values to the equation after solving and simplifying the results we found out that x sub 2 is equal to 43 meters. We can find the velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds by using equation v sub f is equal to v sub i plus a sub x times t which gives velocity v sub f as a function of time t. v sub f is equal to v sub i plus a sub x times t. Substitute the given values to the formula. v sub f is equal to 15 meters per second plus the quantity of 4 meters per second squared times 2 seconds v sub f is equal to 23 meters per second we can start solving by using the formula v sub f is equal to v sub i plus a sub x times t we have the given values substitute the given values to the equation now we have 25 meters per second is equal to 15 meters per second plus 4 meters per second squared times t 15 meters per second will be transferred to the left hand side of the equation combine like terms simplify now we have 10 meters per second is equal to 4 meters per second squared times t in order to get the value of t divide 4 meters per second squared on the left and right hand side the equation. Divide the numbers and variables then simplify. Now we have t for time is equal to 2.5 seconds. Now that we know the time when the velocity of the motorcycle is 25 meters per second. We can substitute this value of time together with the given values to this formula x sub 2 is equal to x sub 1 plus v sub i times t plus 1 half times a sub x times t squared. We now have x sub 2 is equal to 5 meters plus 15 meters per second times 2.5 second plus 1 half times the quantity of 4 meters per second squared multiplied to the quantity of 2.5 seconds raised to the power of 2. This will give us x sub 2 is equal to 55 meters. We've found out that.
t sub 0 is 0 second t sub f is 2 second x sub 1 is 5 meters v sub i is equal to 15 meters per second a sub x is equal to 4 meters per second squared the final velocity of v sub f is equal to 25 meters per second the position at time of 2 seconds is 43 meters the final velocity at time of 2 seconds is 23 meters per second the position of the motorcyclist at v sub f 25 meters per seconds is 55 meters evaluate do these results make sense according to our results in part a the motorcyclist accelerates from 15 meter per second or 54 kilometers per hour to 20 meters per second or about 83 kilometers per hour in two seconds while traveling a distance of 38 meters our result in part b tell us that after an additional 0.5 seconds the motorcyclist has moved an additional 12 meters and has accelerated to 25 meters per second or 90 kilometers per hour this is pretty brisk acceleration but well within the capabilities of a high performance bike